Do you ever sit at work watching the hours go by super slowly? Well, these guys definitely do not. Today we have workers who have a superpower. That superpower is going incredibly fast. Some of these people's hands move so quickly you won't even be able to see them. But their skills are extraordinary, so let's get into it. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at the fastest workers in the world. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Glassmaker. Have you ever seen a circular glass window or table and wondered how do they cut that out? You may think they have some kind of laser device or a mold, but that's not true. As you can see demonstrated here, this man can make circular glass super fast. He uses a suction tool and puts it in the middle of the square glass. He then spins it in a circle and within three taps of a hammer, all of the glass falls off. It then makes the perfect circle and it's so satisfying to watch. This guy is super fast and works at an engineering firm in China. Next up is Toolmaker. Have you ever wondered how handles get onto tools? Well, before they're glued into place, they have to be put on by a human. That's exactly what this one worker in China is doing in this video at super speeds. It's almost like he's using levitation or the force from Star Wars. But no, this guy is just super fast at taking off the white plastic and putting red plastic on. He's putting the grip part on either knives or tools. But this guy can go at superhuman speeds and is again located in a factory in China. It's funny, we see these products in our stores all the time, but never think of how they're made. Turns out they're made by Chinese people with superhuman skills. Next up is Box Taper. When packages are shipped out, especially internationally, they need to be taped up very securely. And sometimes, with valuable things, you need to tape the entire box. Well, if you're wondering how they do that, then check out this guy located in China. He's able to use a metal surface to spin the box around. And he then simply holds the tape and tapes up the entire box within seconds. This guy is so productive, all he needs to do is hold the tape, spin the box, and within a few seconds, it's ready to go. Next up is Apple Peeler. So, this guy is working at a restaurant peeling apples. You may think that's a very long and boring job. For example, we always think of potato peeling as super boring. It's even said to be one of the worst jobs in restaurants, but not for this guy. As you can see, this guy has a machine that spins the apple around. He then simply holds the peeler on it for one second and bang, it's done. The apple then drops off the machine and rolls to somewhere else in the kitchen. Next up is paper lifters. Do you need to lift heavy things for your job? Maybe if you work in construction, you need to hold things like bricks and bags of cement. But sorry, you have nothing on these two guys from China. These guys work at a paper factory and have to transport the paper the factory makes to delivery trucks. And this is how they do it. They take gigantic stacks 10 times taller than they are. These people must be so strong as a watch of paper is pretty heavy. Maybe these guys are like human ants, seeing as ants can carry five times their body weight. But I am stunned at how strong these guys are and I'm so glad they haven't dropped any of this paper. If they did, that would be a gigantic cleanup job with a lot of paper cuts. Next up we have Typer. How great would it be if you could type at superhuman speeds? You wouldn't need to worry about turning an essay in late. And you could also probably do an entire day's work in one hour. Well, that superpower is a reality for this one woman in China. As you can see, she can type up order forms super quickly. If you thought old-fashioned secretaries on their typewriters were fast, this woman is next level. I can barely see her right hand moving when she's doing that. And she doesn't even need to look when she's doing it. She can simply look at her screen and let her superhuman hands do all the work. Next up is smart watches. This one takes place at a smartwatch factory in China. There's a stereotype that Chinese products are bad quality, but in this factory they're checked thoroughly by human beings. And one of those people is this woman in blue. As you can see, all of the products which have been checked and are working are put into a box. But she speeds up her productivity times 100 by doing it like this. Instead of placing each one into a box, she just flips them behind her back into the box. Some do fall on the ground, but I think her mad productivity makes up for that. Next up is Money Counter. Have you ever been to the bank and taken out a big wad of cash? If so, can I borrow 10 bucks? But on that note, we all know the two slowest things in the world are bank tellers and post office workers. 
That is unless you're in China, where you have superhumans. As you can see, this man taking out lots of money is having it counted by this bank teller, and it seems her hands can move at superhuman speeds. Remember, not only are her hands moving super fast as she's counting the money, her brain also has to count all the money. I can't even do basic math in my head, but this woman can probably count to a million in seconds. Just imagine how nice it would be if she worked at the DMV. You would never have to wait around for ages to get your driver's license ever again. Next up we have light shades. Have you ever wondered how those weaved circular lamps are made? Yeah, me either, but it's a pretty cool process to watch. As you can see, this woman has a very basic factory in China. All she has is one machine to rotate, one metal bar. On that she places a wooden outline which makes a circular shape. And then she uses some kind of rope on a coil to wind it around the mold. That circular mold then makes a beautiful lampshade. It's funny, you assume all of these things are mass produced by robots and machines in gigantic factories. And you never realize that actually lots of our products, including our phones for example, are handmade. All of those things we have in stores have to be put together by real people. And the people that do these things are amazingly skilled. Next up we have Flip Flop. Ever wanted to know how those basic plastic shoes you see on every beach are made? Well by simply watching this video you won't find out because the guy goes way too fast. I really had to analyze this video for a good few minutes before realizing how he does it. This man located in India has a machine which has a spike on it. He then grabs a piece of yellow foam and puts spikes in it. And while he's doing that, he attaches the rubber bit where you slide your toes into the flip flop. This guy should really be careful doing it so fast as he could easily hurt his hand on that spike. But by the looks of that stack of flip flops, this guy is very well trained. Again, it just goes to show not everything is made in big high tech factories, sometimes it's a basic operation like this. One thing's for sure though, this guy is incredibly talented, so think about that next time you slip on your flip flops. Next up we have boxers. No, these aren't people making undergarments. Instead, these are simply people making cardboard boxes, what you would think is a pretty mundane and simple task. But it's the way in which they do it which is truly amazing. They're like worker ants or some kind of machine. What's the point in factories when you have these guys? Just look at how in three simple moves this guy makes the same box perfectly every time. He then passes it down the line to his fellow co-workers and voila, you have a cardboard box. It's another product we have in abundance and never think about how they're made. But once you see they're made by super talented people like this guy in China, you realize everything really takes a lot of skill to do. And finally on the list of the fastest workers in the world, we have chocolate pastry. Have you ever seen a really complicated piece of pastry and wondered how is that made? Well today this baker will show you how. As you can see they're able to take long pieces of chocolate pastry and make them into some kind of braid. I can't even follow what they're doing because their hands are going so quickly. But this is actually a technique known as braiding pastry. It's actually a Danish recipe which takes great skill to do. But this video was filmed in Asia by a super fast worker. But now it's time to make your opinion heard. Vote But as always, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Top 10s.